Good morning, dear students. In the previous video, we were just discussing about liquid pressure. Pressure in a liquid, how do you go up in the bathy discuss part now? Ipa in the video, air pressure bathy discuss part now. The same concept. Ipa pressure at a point in a liquid, up in a nation now, the amount of liquid over that point and the point of the point malerka. Amount of liquid is the point where pressure acts on the point. For example, if we are going to put a book on the top of our head, we feel a pressure over our head. And that pressure is due to the mass of the book. If we are going to put a book on the top of our head, what will happen? Will the pressure decrease? It will not. It increases because the mass of the book has increased. There are two books now. When there are three books, four books, five books, it is going to increase gradually. That is what I am saying. For a person who is standing on the surface of the earth, will feel the pressure of air which is on top of him. Ilya, number talaki mala nariya volumes of air are there, so that air will be acting on me. Idhe na gradually liquid, that the boomi or the surface le the male no ki nagadhi tikra abhi chola mode na wo. The air above me decreases in volume. Yeah, yana ki kira vande kujo khatru poy vuto poy rada dalay. எனக்கு கீழே இருக்கிற காத்துனாலே என் மேலே எந்த ப்ரெஷரும் இருக்காது அப்போ வாட் ஆப்பன் அட்மாஸ்பிரிக் ப்ரெஷர் டிக்ரீசஸ் ஆஸ் யூ கோ அப் இன் ஆல்டிடியூட் த கான்செப்ட் இஸ் வெரி சிம்பிள் இல்லைங்களா ஏன் நான் மேலே போக போக காற்றோட அளவு என்ன ஆகுது கம்மியாகுது எனக்கு மேலே இருக்கக்கூடிய காற்றின் அளவு கம்மியாகுது எனக்கு கீழே என் பாதங்களுக்கு கீழே இருக்க காற்றோட அளவு அதிகமாகுது அதனால என்ன ஆகிடும் ஏர் ப்ரெஷரு Korea Army Kepa and Malapohu Bodhi. Okay, so let's watch this video and after this I will explain a riddle. We are surrounded by air from all the directions. This envelope of air around us is what we call atmosphere. Does air also exert pressure on objects on the earth? In our previous video, we studied that the liquid exerts pressure in all directions. For example, here we have the water in a beaker. Due to gravity, this water is pulled down towards the earth. If we divide this water into different layers, then each layer is being pulled down by the earth. Due to this pull, water exerts downward pressure and this pressure is uneven throughout. That is, the bottom layer experiences more pressure than the top layer. This is because the weight of water above the bottom layer is more and the pressure decreases as we go upwards. In fact, we saw that the water exerts pressure in all directions and not only in the downward direction. One more thing that we studied about the liquid pressure is that at any point in a liquid, the pressure is the same in all directions. That is, if I take any point here in this water, the pressure exerted by water here is the same in all the directions. Air also behaves in the same way. Just like water, air is also being pulled down by the Earth's gravitational force. This force applies pressure on the air in the downward direction. The pressure exerted by air is called air pressure or atmospheric pressure. Did you know that the atmosphere is divided into different layers? The atmosphere is divided into five layers, namely the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. The pressure in the troposphere, which is the bottommost layer, is higher than the pressure in the layers above it. And I'm sure you can guess the reason why. This is because the weight of the air above the troposphere is greater than the weight of the air above, say the stratosphere. The air pressure also acts in every direction and not only in the downward direction. And finally, just like the pressure in liquids, the air pressure at a particular height above the Earth's surface is same in all directions. That is, if I take these two points at the same distance above the Earth's surface, then the air at this point will exert an equal pressure in all the directions, just like the air at this point. Let's look at an interesting graph now. A graph which represents pressure at a particular altitude. The graph also represents how the pressure varies from layer to layer. 
The troposphere layer is closest to the surface of the Earth and the pressure in this layer goes up to 100,000 Pascal, where Pascals represented by Pa is the SI unit of pressure. This is massive pressure. This pressure pushes and pulls the object on the surface on the Earth. For example, if I take a table with the upper surface of 1 by 1 meter, the pressure exerted by the air on the table in the downward direction is greater than 1 lakh pascals. This is equivalent to 10 cars being put on this table. Yes, 10 cars. I know what you must be thinking. Why doesn't this surface collapse under this huge pressure? How does it handle such massive pressure acting down on it? A little while ago, we said that the pressure exerted at points above the Earth's surface is equal in all directions. So the pressure at every point on the table is the same in all the directions. That is, if downward pressure is pushing the table surface with a great force, then the upward pressure is also pushing it in the upward direction with the same force. Both the forces are balanced and the table does not collapse. As I said, pressure is not only acting in these two directions, it is acting on the surface in all the directions. Pressures acting in opposite directions cancel each other out. Here is one cool experiment that you can also perform at home. Take a plastic bottle filled with water. Take a cardboard paper and place it on the open end of the bottle like this. Hold this paper with your hand so that it does not move from its position and invert the bottle. Now let go of the paper. What did you see? The cardboard paper sticks to the surface. Why is it held to the surface? It is held to the surface because of the air pressure that is pushing the paper in the upward direction. The upward air pressure is sufficient to counter the downward push exerted by the water. Now make few holes in the bottle at its base. What happens now? Why did the paper fall off? Did the upward pressure on it stop acting or did it reduce in the value? No, it didn't. The upward pressure on it by the air remains the same, but the downward pressure increased in its value. When we made holes in the bottle, we allowed air to flow inside it from the top. The air from the top started exerting pressure on the water. The combined pressure of water and air from top could easily overcome the pressure exerted by air from the bottom. Hence, there is net force acting on the paper in the downward direction. That is, there is more pressure in the downward direction. That is the reason why this paper gets detached from the surface. So, <clears throat> there we were just discussing about air pressure. Yeah. Air pressure it is the volume of air that is acting on us. Okay. Now, I will give an example. One meter into one meter, there is a table of air pressure. Okay. So, it was given nearly one lakh pascals of air pressure will be found there. I will tell you. Air pressure are we able to feel the pressure of air? We are not able to feel the pressure of air which is acting on us. The reason is because our body exerts pressure pointing outwards. Air pressure is crushed by our body. If we oppose it, our body will be able to feel the pressure. Due to the arteries that are present, it is spread out throughout the body. So, the blood pressure acts against the air pressure and therefore we are not able to feel the pressure of air that is acting on us. That is the concept about air pressure. So, what are the devices that are used to measure air pressure? Okay, that we will just watch it now in this video. Instrument for measuring atmospheric pressure. A simple mercury barometer is made by inverting a long glass tube filled with mercury. Any air bubbles inside are removed by inverting the tube several times and filling it again with mercury. The mercury column in the tube drops until its height is about 760 mm 
above the mercury level in the dish. The space above the mercury column in the tube is a vacuum, known as Torricellian vacuum. Level, the atmospheric pressure can support a column of mercury of 760 mm. The atmospheric pressure, is usually expressed in terms of millimeters of mercury, or centimeters of mercury. The unit of cm of mercury, can be converted into unit pascal, by using the following equation. The standard atmospheric pressure, is taken as 760 mm of mercury, or 1.013 times, 10 power of 5 pascal. The height of the mercury column in the tube, depends on the atmospheric pressure. The height of the mercury column, is unaffected by tilting the tube at different angle or, using glass tubes of different diameters. A Forden barometer, is an improved version of a simple mercury barometer. The operation of Forden barometer, is based on the mercury barometer. Before taking a reading, the screw is adjusted until the mercury level, in the bag just touches an ivory pointer. The height of the mercury column, is measured from the tip of the ivory pointer, to the mercury level in the tube. An accurate measurement of the height of the mercury column, can be obtained by adjusting a vernier scale over the main scale. An aneroid barometer, is used more often than a mercury barometer, because it contains no liquid and can be carried about conveniently. The expansion and contraction of the metal box actuates the lever system. When atmospheric pressure drops, the metal box expands. When atmospheric pressure increases, the metal box contracts. The movements of the box are magnified by a system of levers, which causes a pointer to move over a calibrated scale. Aneroid barometer commonly used for weather forecasting. Generally low pressure indicates an approaching storm, while high pressure is associated with fine weather. They also use as an altimeter, in aircraft for measuring height since air pressure decreases as height increases. So these are the instruments that are used to measure air pressure. The first one is a common barometer that we just saw. Mercury is filled in a long tube or orbiter alavula or long narrow tube mercury fill panite till the brim and the edge is full of fill panite or trough mercury ulla or patrathukulla upside down invert panidvang. Invert panonnaido the weight of the mercury will be coming down due to the force of gravity. Varumbolude what will happen? There is a partial vacuum that will be created inside the tube and the barometer to mala or vacuum created. And the vacuum in Namano, it will be holding the mercury on top without setting it down. On the other hand, on the surface of the mercury that is present in the trough, air will be acting on it, air pressure will be acting on it. As mala these forces will balance each other. Upon our particular point of the mercury, you know, on the point of 76 centimeters of mercury okay 76 centimeters of mercury in that long tube that is the normal atmospheric pressure that is a common barometer the weather forecasting stations there is a barometer to measure air pressure and that barometer is called 14th barometer that is the daily changes of pressure we will find out the daily Air pressure, atmospheric pressure, In one on the non liquid barometer, so aneroid barometer, other than the double mercury lung there is no, there is a small vacuum chamber, and the vacuum chamber or a behavior, high pressure, low pressure, go, needle bar. So, aneroid barometer is used to measure air pressure, and it is also used as an altimeter, so altimeter, they will wire on. How do you do this? How do you do this? When you climb up a hill, that is, we will go to the sea level. The atmospheric pressure is the pressure. If we have a pressure, we will go to the sea level. It can also be used as the altimeter. So, we have come 
கம்ப்ளீட்டா டிஸ்கசிங் அபவுட் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபோர்ஸ் அண்ட் ப்ரெஷர் இப்போ இந்த ப்ரெஷர் பத்தி பேசும்போது லிக்விட் ப்ரெஷர் பத்தி பேசும்போது தேர் இஸ் அ லா கால் பேஸ்கல்ஸ் லா தட் வி வில் சி இன் த நெக்ஸ்ட் வீடியோ